All right, here we go. In this problem, we got number eight from our college algebra, homework number two. In my lab math, we've got a rational equation that they're asking me to solve. So we've got one-fifth plus five-sixth equals one over A. I've copied that down over here in my window so I can work with it. And what I'm going to teach you is my patented kill off the fraction technique. Okay, it's really not patented, but it is a nice technique if you want to get rid of the fractions. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at every denominator and we're going to figure out what does each denominator need so that they all have the same stuff. Looking at the first denominator, he's got a five. I notice that he needs the six and the A from the other denominators. So we're going to give him a six A. Whatever I give to the bottom, I have to give to the top. The second fraction has a six. He needs the five and the A. So we're going to give him the five and the A. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. And the last denominator needs the five and the six. So the numerator gets a five and a six. And now I want you to notice that all these denominators are the same. We have a six, a five, and an A. 6, 5, and A, 6, 5, and A. They all have the same factors. And so once the denominators are all identical, you can effectively cancel them out. That is the kill off the fraction technique. Now let's see what we have left. 6A times 1 is 6A. 5 times 5A is 25A. And 5 times 6 times 1, that's 30. And so now we have a new equation with no fractions that we can solve for A. Combine like terms, 6 minus 25, that's negative 19A. And then if I divide both sides by a negative 19, we're going to get A is negative 30 nineteenths. Negative 30 over 19 won't reduce, and we're going to leave it improper because over here in my math lab it says, uh, it says use a comma to separate your answers as needed. Simplify your answer. It doesn't say a decimal is okay, so let's leave it improper. Negative 30 over 19. Fingers crossed. Bam. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.